It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Uh, you are just in time to see Milky start an empire. We've gone around and done the um, Seven Wonders cultural cards. Uh, things are really filling up and heating up and a lot is happening. We're, get, we're bearing down on this Dark Age here, which is going to be the time for someone to be eliminated. It's looking right now like it's going to be Ka as in Cat. Although she is going to try and change that desperately, desperately, because we have to assume everyone wants to make it to the special gaming event in the middle of the tournament. Even you watching, I assume that you would love to be turned into a card. Ah, I'm spilling water. That means I'm lying. Ah, sorry about that. A little uh, mistake. I need to clean that up um, before it gets in, encounters some electronics or something like that. Just to show you how much things have changed, uh, Milky's Once Mighty Minoans, the, those yellow uh, counters that were here for pretty much the whole game, maybe not the whole game, for a good chunk of the game, scoring him reliably five glory every turn, have now become the Irish over here near the Pharaohs. Um, so that's going to be pretty pretty interesting. I like that placement for him. They're, they're near his uh, Finnish black counter set, which uh, which is nice because maybe they can actually work together. Uh, the Irish could probably use the help, um, but they're going to get some easy points. One for their homeland, one for having Britain, and then also they're the only ones who could score off of Christianity at this point. So if he can make them Christians, he, uh, he could be sitting pretty again, kind of like he was with the Minoans before. Flushes Chitin's Sven the Net Mender, who is also Sun Tzu, um, the, the famous military author, um, is, is going to use some, some, some strategy to try and defeat, or it's more of a, maybe more of a tactical move, to defeat this, um, this particular challenge here. How he can do it? He's got all these gray things. Normally he rolls to assign what their value is, but any one of them he can just decide what it is. And he's going to decide that this uh, target here, which is what's tested, is yellow. So that's going to give him uh, essentially a white against green. So if we look at our thing here, that's a 9. Or better, he needs to roll on 2d6. Let's see what he gets. He has a 3 and a 7. That is a pass. So what, what happens? You hear the pleasing sound of woods splintering as your stone hits home. He shot a catapult at, um, at some folks. It has been so far a sort of downbeat turn. Not depressing really, but there's been a lot of kind of rebuilding and coping with the destruction of the last round. Um, rebuilding not in, the, in terms of production, only one person did production, uh, one empire of 14. Um, but just kind of a lot of maneuver actions where a, not a lot is done. Uh, the empires that are bigger, they're kind of as big as they can get. Um, a lot of just kind of trading, too. A lot of people kind of figuring out that progressing is, is very useful. Um, and it's, it's actually maybe averaging out to be about how much people would progress otherwise. Maybe with the, the um, go-slow rules. There's some go-slow rules. Uh, so that that's working out pretty well. Uh, we're coming on to destiny actions and then civilized actions. Cat, as in cat, has some plans for civilized actions uh, to to have some havoc. And then there's going to be a lot of empires going away. So Kat, as in cat, has eight wreaths now. Uh, that puts her high, higher than flush, and she was really hoping to be able to use those wreaths to create some acts of God to kind of storm down on him. <clears throat> in part because he's the next one in front of her in the glory track, and she would like to catch him before Runt gets here, but that's, that's going to be really hard. Uh, so mostly because she just wants to kind of mess him up a little bit before she goes out. It's going to be really hard at this point for her to succeed. Unfortunately, all she was able to do was get rid of some boats here with some storms, and then also um, discover Buddhism, which I think will help her deal with her impending demise. Um, normally, Buddhism can only be be taken if you're within range of India. I didn't think that made a lot of sense. I don't I don't believe that religions really have a strong connection to ge geography 
really, maybe in the way they're expressed, is is their connection to geography. But religions are more just kind of a codification of uh, cultural values, um, and a and a way of kind of understanding the world. Um, so it doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to me. We have our very first democracy, the Harappans. Um, democracy in this game basically means you get a benefit if people are mean to you. And it's kind of a, what's the word, masochistic sort of government. Um, basically, you get penalized if you attack anybody. But if people attack you, you get to produce at half cost and then you can attack people. Uh, but only for the next turn. So that's what happened with Giraffe. And then Runt, she has just made a bunch of artifacts. So she has paved roads now, the Great Pyramid, the Great Wall, all sorts of great stuff uh, in her Pharaonic Egyptian. So she's going to start scoring two points every turn just for that because of because of those there. She's got she's got quite a good score built up. You know, she's she's scoring. Homeland, world, progress, so that's four there. Homeland, Africa, um, artifacts, and she might have second place world for the Egyptians. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. She does have a philosopher with him. Uh, no, she doesn't, actually. So that's another four there. So she's scoring eight a turn right now. Very good run. And to prepare for future goodbyes, there are a lot of discard empires this round, uh, this turn. The Free State is going away. Kad decided to get rid of them. Uh, who else? The Hittites, sadly, just did not work out well enough for Cowboy. There they are there. He started to try to work with them, but they're just too boxed in, and they um, aren't really strong enough to do a lot for him. The Chow, the mighty Chow here in China, uh, Little Red's golden people now are going away. So he is going to lose all of these cards that they had on them. Leaving him just with the Chams. Um, Chams are kind of like the new Chow, though, for him, right? They have their own little area here. And I guess that's it. Three discarded empires. We're close to a discarded real person. Not discarded, but put into the uh, loser's bracket there. And here we see our glory track for the end of the turn. Um, in the upper echelons, we have uh, still Milky's in the lead, though. He is... The Irish actually were his high score for his three groups, even though they're just up here. Uh, the benefit of being somewhere no one else is. They score on being in Britain, they score home. I gave him two. That was more than the early Finns and the Babylonians, who only got one each. Uh, so he only got a total of four. That's how much Giraffe got, too, with her two empires. Um, Runt, as we said earlier, is pulling an eight. So she's currently our, our strongest player, I would say, overall. Um, although, you know, she's in second place, point-wise. Uh, looking back down here, uh, we have Little Red and, and uh, Flush Tide just behind Cowboy. These these three are kind of all going at the same pace. And Cat, unfortunately, is really only scoring on picking up artifacts. I don't think there's any way she's going to make it before here. Um, I guess if someone beats Runt, Runt's uh, Amazons in Science, if they have a higher score than her, which I guess Flush could if Flush got one more tablet card down. Uh, he would be ahead of her in science, and then she wouldn't get the free advance, and then there might be another turn. But I wouldn't, if I were Ka right now, I wouldn't count on that. I would hope for that, right? Because you got to be hopeful, especially when you're looking at the abyss, especially when you're looking at the dark ages that are fast coming on with their paved roads.